another lippy review. So I've had this one for a few months waiting to be reviewed. Um, of course, now that summer's pretty much over. I mean, we're officially in the fall now, but I'm in California. We've still got our summer weather for a little longer. Uh, I have the Sun Bum Tinted Lip Balm in Sunset Cove. So I bought this at CVS for eight fucking dollars. I feel like I've even seen it at Safeway for somewhere around there. You might be able to find it cheaper elsewhere. I don't know. I haven't looked into that. I just know what I paid for it. But I also know CVS sometimes marks up the prices. So take that for what it's worth. So it's got SPF 15 in it. It's made with coconut oil and aloe. Sun bum lip balms are carefully formulated to help protect those of us who live and love in the sun. Trust the bum. Paraben free, cruelty free, oxybenzone free. So our active ingredients are homosalate 10%, octisalate 5%, octocrylene 3%, zinc oxide 2.9%. So it's got a lot actually going on in terms of protecting from the sun, which is good. Uh, let's see here. The inactive ingredients. This is organic. We've got beeswax, coconut oil, shea butter, castor seed oil, caprylic slash capric triglyceride, olive fruit oil, um, theobroma, grandiflorum, seed butter. Sorry, I was like trying to see which line was I on? <laughs> Carnauba wax, titanium dioxide, candelilla wax, polymethyl silicoxine? That's all one word, believe it or not. Sunflower seed oil, aloe barbadensis leaf extract, stevia rubidonia extract, um, indigo tinctoria leaf extract. No idea what that is, but it sounds pretty. Soybean oil, meadow foam seed oil, jojoba seed oil, jojoba ester, safflower seed oil, polyhydroxy stearic acid, mica, octo or octildodexyl oleate. Silica, tocopherol, tin oxide, iron oxide, red seven lake. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. On some side, maybe this side. Okay, it opens easier that way. Ooh, all right. Um, annoyingly, this sticks up, and it doesn't have a little perforated thing to like clip it. It does have Sunset Cove printed on the bottom along with the expiration date, so I mean, if you want to trim that, you can, but I bet there's probably, like, some of the product info under there for if you want it, so they probably did that on purpose so you can peel it, but be aware, the second you do that, they're never really the same again. But I am liking this wooden tube that it's in. Like, I don't know if that's just on the outside, or... <clears throat> Whoops. That did not work. Check your kisser. Uh, that really did not work. <laughs> um, okay, so it's wood on the outside, but it does have plastic on the inside. So you can see it's a very, very thin layer. But this is going to piss me the hell off, so I'm going to trim that. I'm going to leave the other one the hell alone, but this one's going to be in my way every time I go to open it. So let's just... Get that on my damn way. All right, so it is this color, which is very pretty. Uh, it was actually the only shade they had there. It's the only shade I've seen in person, but they do sell other shades. I just have not happened to pawn them. It does have their monkey logo stamped into the top. Um, I still laugh that the first Sunbum products I owned, I thought this was a curling stone. Like this was the stone, this was the handle. I did not see the monkey face. Feel really stupid in hindsight. <laughs> so this is 0.15 ounces, a standard stick amount. It just looks like more because it's a chunky tube, but it is very much like a standard. It has a coconut scent. Hopefully it's not gonna fuck with me. Oh boy, <laughs> it makes me nervous, but then again, sometimes I'm fine, sometimes I'm not. We're gonna find out. I mean, I can always wash it off real quick if it does, but, um, anyway. It's not part of a set, it's just part of a line, it's not limited edition. Um, yeah, gonna go ahead and swatch here. Oh, wow, alright. Even in one swipe, it was more pigmented than I thought. Is it buildable, though? Eh, not really. It pretty much stayed the same damn color, so alright. 
really soft, though. I was like, oh, shit, I shouldn't have pushed that hard. I smushed it a little. I am nervous with all the chemicals for the SPF that it may be one of those that has that really bitter aftertaste after being on for like 20 minutes. I hope it's not like that, though. Interesting texture. I don't know why it feels slightly gritty, but it's like there's stuff in it. Good flavor, though. Tastes like a pina colada, so again, fingers crossed that it doesn't fuck with me, but... Saw nothing in the ingredients that alarmed me, so I'm gonna take my chances. Um, but yeah, that that texture is off-putting, not gonna lie. I don't know why it feels like that. Um, but it's a pretty color. Like, I'm digging that color. It's like a lightning effect on the lips, which is kind of like a youthful thing. I know I've said that before with ones that lighten, but like, for real, it does. Um... I like that. And it goes well with my eyeshadow today. I'm like, oh, that kind of, they play nice with each other. I like it. So it is shiny, as you can see. Um, I'm sure it's going to transfer like a bitch, but let's do the kiss test. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. That's like a really, really bad one. Whoa. Like, I was not expecting it to be that extreme. <laughs> um, yeah. Thickness wise, it's actually pretty thin. But that texture is really throwing me. It feels like there's powder in it. I'm like, oh. Don't like that part at all. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the drink test and hope it does okay. But so far, so good that it doesn't seem to be screwing with me yet. My lips aren't burning, my throat's not burning. It's a good sign. Knock wood that it stays that way. Mm. It looks like it stayed on, even with the water. But good lord, that texture though. I'm like, ugh. Ugh. It's almost like I can only compare the feel to being like if you had really, really bad chapped lips and then put this on over it and we're still feeling the chap sticking up through it, it it's kind of like that sensation. But man, were I like that before I put it on, so it's in the product. It's not my lips that I'm feeling. This is definitely in the bomb. I'm like, oh. Ew. It's not even like a fine powder. It's like chunks of stuff. It's almost as if you went to the beach and got a shit ton of sand in your lip balm and used it anyway. <laughs> like, it's a lot like that. Uh, except bigger. So I, I'm really, really not feeling it on that texture. Just, that is my biggest complaint. Number one biggest fucking complaint. So, I think I'm not gonna give it the wow factor. I'm just not. I'm just not. For that price point, for that feel, for how bad it transfers, I just, I am not here for that. But I do dig the cool packaging. That's fun. Um, turn wheel sign. It clicks nicely, so no complaints about the outer packaging, at least. But, um, uh, I'm trying to think. I think I am actually going to give this a 6 out of 10. Like, technically by the numbers, by, like, the scorecard, it would have been a 7, but I'm like, it does not even feel 7-worthy to me. I know that sounds arbitrary, but, like, no, this, this is, like, a 6, and even that feels like I'm being generous. So... Yeah, I I don't think I'm going to buy more from this particular line. I'm not writing off the Sunbum brand or anything, because I've had other stuff from them that I've liked in terms of lip products, but this is the first time I tried one of their tinted ones. I'm like, oh, if they're all like that, I, I don't think I like that. So I think I'll stick with their plain untinted ones. Please, K and thanks. So anyway, 
that is it for this one guys so as usual you know what to do if you like this video go ahead and give it a like if you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload leave comments down below make sure you're following my social media accounts my facebook fan page my twitter my instagram my ebay my reddits everything and more is all down below and if you like what i do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it the donation link as always is down in the description anyway guys till next time see ya